Hey everybody, it's Dave Kingsbury. Um, it's, you guys, some, most of you guys know some of my videos can get uh, pretty detailed and intricate, and I just want to make sure that you guys, if you you know you're watching my videos and you're going through what I'm telling you to do or suggesting that you do, that you just pay real close attention to the videos because uh, I get a lot of comments. People get um, didn't do quite didn't do things just quite right and you can really mess up your computer so everything I show you is uh, legitimate and it works and it's been tested but you really have to follow directions just do me that much uh, which brings me to this uh, movie makers have been a problem for a long time and uh, I've been trying to come up with different fixes that have been proven to work and they don't work for everybody but I've made a series of videos and hopefully one of those videos or, or you know maybe two or three of them will help fix your problem. The one I made it's got like 40,000 views on it now which is about a year old so I don't know how good that really is but um, I'm going to be taking that one down and replacing it with this one because it, it was old technology that I had when I recorded it and it's really crappy it's hard to follow but I felt it was really important step in fixing movie makers so I made a new one and this is it okay while you're watching the video look over in the video description click on more info and that will open up and you'll see a download link you want to right click on that link either save link as or save as or it may say save target as depending on the browser you're using you want to left click on that and you want to save it to your desktop you may have to open the folder where it says save in and click on your desktop so make sure your desktop is selected and click save you want to right click on that zip file if you have WinZip installed go to WinZip, click Extract to. Come my computer is open. Click on C drive so it's highlighted. And click Extract. Go to the I386 zip folder. You want to right click on that. Go to Extract All. Select next. And then here you'll see a, a directory preset. You want to click on browse. Click on the plus sign next to my computer. So you can find your way to the local disk or C drive. And you want to click on that once to highlight it. And then click OK. Now you'll see a C colon backslash. It says files will be extracted to this directory and it's going to your C drive. And click next. You can take the check mark off show extracted files and click finish. And when you go to my computer right click and explore click on C drive and you'll see the folder I386 and this is the movie maker files. And close that window. And we're going to go to start run. If you don't have the run command hold down the Windows key and hit R. That will bring up your window command. You're going to type in percent sign system root percent sign backslash inf and hit enter. Now once you're in here you want to scroll down and do a search for movie mkinf now in alphabetical order <clears throat> you see mine says dot inf but I'm going to go up to tools if yours doesn't say dot inf go to tools folder options view tab scroll down and, and take the check mark off hide extensions for known file types so I'll put mine back on Now mine just says movie mech, no not no dot inf. 
So if that's what yours looks like, that's the right one. It should be right next to PNF. Or you can go into the Tools, Folder Options, View, take the check mark off, and Apply, OK, and it'll be back that way. And you want to right click on that file, go to Install, and it's going to say it can't find the files. And we're going to click on Browse, open up the menu at the top, go to your C drive, the I386 folder that you created. If you see more than one of them and you're not sure which one you created, you can go up here to this window in your view menu and click on details and it'll you can slide these over a little bit. It'll show you when that folder was created. So you'll know which one is the right one. You want the newest one. So we're going to double click on that folder and that's the file it's looking for. You're going to double click on that file. Click OK. It's going to update the Movie Maker folder. And you're done. It's reinstalled.